We have a statement by the Mueller of Moja, one, one Kenya coalition party, dated September 15th, 2023. It's been a grand disaster. We have had a meeting with the full house of, of Azmiola Omoja One Kenya Coalition Party that focused on three areas, namely to receive and review a report on the status of the national dialogue talks, to assess and share with Kenyans our take on one year of Kenya Kwanza regime, and to analyze the general health of our nation one year since Kenya Kwanzaa imposed itself on our people. Today, we will, we will confine ourselves to two areas of concern. That is the management of the economy and its impact on the cost of living, the management of education. In the past one year, that is September 2022 to September 2023, Kenyans have been treated to loud claims and boasts on how great we are doing as a nation. We have been made to believe that we are first in Africa and that we are beating our quiet neighbors in every aspect of competition that the future is guaranteed. As the sun set on the first year of Kenya Kwanzaa, it is clear that no amount of oratory or extravagant claims can hide the harsh fact that we have had an extremely disastrous and difficult one, one year. And there is no reason whatsoever for Kenyans to believe that the next one year will be better. Ghanaian economist and opposition leader, Dr. Mamadou, Baumia told his country, and we quote, the lesson from history is that you cannot manage the economy with propaganda. In fact, you can engage in all the propaganda you want, but if the macroeconomic fundamentals are weak, the exchange rate will expose you. Unquote. <laughs> we can add that the cost of goods and the cost of living will expose you. Despite the rhetoric, despite the eloquent words and the confusing figures, Kenya Kwanzaa has been badly exposed on all fronts. As we begin the second year, of Kenya Kwanzaa regime. It is clear we are in a reckless race to the bottom. At midnight, the cost of diesel went up by 21 Kenya shillings. Paraffin exposed Kenya Kwanzaa when its price went up by 33 shillings. Petrol exposed Kenya Kwanzaa after rising by 16 shillings higher. You cannot manage economy via propaganda. One year, all indicators point to the fact that life is deteriorating, not improving. The cost of every item that is basic to life has gone up. In the last one year, the following have happened. One, the price of one kilogram of sugar has gone up by 61%. Two, the price of one kilogram of loose maize, maize flour, has gone up by 9.6%. Three, rent for a single room rose by 2.8 percent. Four, the price of two kilograms fortified unga has gone up by 8.1 percent. Five, 
50 kilograms, 50, kilo, 50 kilowatts electricity has gone up by 68.7 percent. Six, 200 kilowatt electricity has gone up by 48.8 percent. Seven, one liter of kerosene has risen by 31.1 percent. Eight, a liter of diesel has risen by 28 percent. Nine, a liter of petrol went up by 22.1 percent. Ten, wine and spirits went up by 9 percent. We hasten to add that these prices, these price rises were before the development of last night. Given the rise in fuel after last night, we estimate that these prices will go up by up to 70 percent. We are staring at a, a straight second disasters year under Kenya Kwanzaa. In one year under Kenya Kwanzaa, our currency, that is the Kenya shilling, the once mighty currency in the region, has received severe beating. The shilling has lost a quarter of its value against the US dollar in one year. The shilling lost 20% of its value against the Tanzanian and Ugandan shillings. In August 2022, the shilling was trading at 120 for one US dollar. A year later, the shilling is trading at 150 against US dollar. And if you go to the banks, they sell it to you at 154. <laughs> the fall of the shilling comes with a great price that includes escalated costs of the imports, including food. It puts tremendous pressure on parents seeking to take their children abroad or those who want to seek treatment outside the country. The free fall of the shilling is therefore a grand betrayal of the people of Kenya by the Kenya Kwanzaa regime. Given the state of economy and the prices they made during the campaign and the promises they made during the, the campaigns. Kenyans would have expected that Kenya Kwanzaa would cut down expenditure and borrowing. The regime did the complete opposite. Kenya Kwanzaa increased spending by 400 billion shillings, spending money it does not have and raising it by extorting more taxes from the suffering Kenyans. The taxes rose at a time the overall economy has been contracting. In the second quarter of 2022, which is the first era of Kenya Kwanzaa regime leading into 2023, the economy grew by only 5.2 percent. In a similar period in 2021, it grew by 11 percent. The regime resorted to more borrowing, ignoring the warnings that we are in debt distress and at the risk of debt default. Without blinking an eye, the regime went against its promises to reduce borrowing and did the complete opposite. Kenyans responded to this turn of events by trying to steady their businesses, especially the small enterprises. But those efforts were in vain as interest rates rose through, rose through the roof and more taxes hit those businesses. Only the government can now afford to borrow at the astronomical rate of 17% or more 
from the domestic market. In other words, the government is competing in the private sector in the domestic financial market. The result has been that macro and small businesses are struggling, defaulting and folding up when the larger private sector is at best stagnating or equally folding up. In the last one year, the proportion of micro and small businesses defaulting on loans has increased by 17%. Today, 6 out of 10 micro and small businesses are either pay paying late, paying only a part of, the, of their instalment, or are unable to pay. Inflation is driven by the cost of food and fuel. <coughs> as long as the government has not resolved the price of food and fuel, the cost of living will not come down. No amount of fertilizer will lower the cost of food <laughs> as long as the cost of fuel is unchecked. Diesel is one of the highest costs in farming. Even if you give the citizen a bag of fertilizer, but make it impossible for her or him to plow an acre of land, you have not solved the problem. The shilling taking the, 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 the grains, like maize, wheat, and rice that we import, uh, the, those commodities have increased by 25%. As the economy has suffered, another grand betrayal of dreams and aspirations of our country has unfolded silently in the education sector.